each year we have our Spirituality ed Education Day, and we always have it in May, beautiful day in May, and we try and uh, share our faith together. And this year, with being the year of faith, uh, I have two wonderful speakers. One is Father Bill Lego, uh, who is a, about to be a pastor for the first time in our diocese. And uh, he has wonderful experience and just a beautiful enrichment in his own heart of faith. And he was very excited about talking to maturing adults because he felt he would be able to get something from it also. Uh, Doris Hudak is going to be doing our educational piece. And uh, she walked the way of St. James across Spain. Wait a minute. When she was 76. God bless her. It's wonderful. She really has a youthful heart. And that's the most important thing when you are talking with the Spirit. Uh, our whole ministry is around spiritual enrichment in the parishes. And we have parish liaisons, people from each parish that represent their parish and bring things from our diocese to the parish and vice versa. Uh, we also have uh, training for individuals who are interested in doing spiritual enrichment in the parish through the Johnson Institute materials, which are all the positive side of maturing, looking at it as a period of development where we are full of experience, knowledge, and wisdom. And that's what we do as a group. And the prayer card is a little history. As you see, it is the theme of our day. Um, the year of faith and um, these cards are from the Eucharistic Congress that took place in October and that was uh, you know a wonderful occasion for those of us that were there and I decided that the prayer is very very perfect for us for this day so what I'd like to do is I'd like to ask you to pray with me and read with me. And we begin as we always do. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, pour forth your Holy Spirit to inspire me with these words of the Holy Scripture. Stir in my soul the desire to renew my faith and to keep in my relationship with your Son. your year in faith? It's going to increase my faith because I have lived with my faith and the Lord has been very good to me my whole life. Any problems that I had or just living, he has been there for me all the way. He has made my day happy every day. Good morning. My name is Dorothy Federkowitz and this spirituality day is awesome and faith had increased my life tremendously and I am growing more and more in faith. Thank you, Jesus. So how is this gonna affect your year of faith? Well, what I learned here today will help strengthen my belief and uh, help me to grow a little bit deeper. I'm already quite grown, as to say, in years, but spiritually, you can always grow deeper. 
and uh, this is helping me. What parish are you from? Uh, Blessed Sacrament, Our Lady Divine Shepherd. And are you actually active in any ministries there? Yes, I'm uh, a Eucharistic minister, and I oversee the altar service. And what's your name? Jackie McClellan. Thank you, Jackie. And I'm a member of the Altar Rosary Society also. How will this day make a difference in your year of faith? Well, from what uh, Father Bill has spoken about, joy and enthusiasm and getting closer to the Lord, um, I think this day uh, really will improve my faith even more. Where are you from? Heightstown, New Jersey. Okay. St. Anthony. Name? Louise Mount. Okay. Are you active in the, any ministries? And the Rosarians. Uh, I'm a member of the Altar Rosary Society and also uh, the Anthonians Senior Group at, at St. Anthony of Padua. Great. Thank you very much. I hope I said that right. I think, <laughs> how will this year make a difference in your year of faith? Well, I think every time you can uh, go to a gathering of uh, the church and uh, spend a little time thinking about your spirituality and and the way you uh, the way you make grow spiritually and it, it uh, reinforces your faith. Uh, I think the uh, talk on spirituality in particular makes you uh, focus more on uh, how you're living your faith and how you can grow in faith. Hang on one second. It's a joy for me to also uh, welcome Father Pelego, our friend Sullivan, 